Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today I'm going to go through the newest update on my InMove Hand project. So what we have here is the current status of my InMove hand. Tonight I'm hoping to change that slightly. Uh, this is where I left off last video. Everything's pretty much ready to assemble with some, uh, some joints and some uh, ligaments. The ligaments that I'm going to use, I picked out a 100 pound test, uh, high visibility yellow, I'm going to regret that, but uh, a Spectre fishing line. This should be uh, ample, I figure, for running to the fingers and back to the servos. Uh, what I did also is I started reprinting some of the in-move parts. This has not been finished yet along the bottom edge, but this is fresh off the Solidoodle 2 3D printer. I'm super happy with the results. I had to clear a clog on the 3D printer this weekend, so I ended up switching over to a new brand of filament. I couldn't be happier with the results. They're I'm actually tempted to reprint the entire hand, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble it first and see my results. The new parts are approximately yeah, nearly an order of magnitude better than the originals. For layer adhesion and just overall print quality, I'm, I'm super tickled. So thanks to, to Gael, the, uh, the originator of the InMove robot, he pointed out that uh, I had printed the other half to this incorrectly it has the wrong servo mount so I went ahead and printed the new one this is uh, this will reside in the other uh, forearm where my servos will mount and hopefully it works out pretty good I uh, at the same time printed out all the servo pulleys and hopefully these are going to fit the uh, 995 servos just fine but we're, I haven't even tried it I also printed reprinted some of the bolts Due to the fact that my layer adhesion is so much better now, I figured I might as well reprint these plastic bolts. I really want to stick with the plastic. I, I, would, I even have metal bolts for this, but I, I have an ulterior motive for sticking with the plastic. I want this project that I have in mind to be 3D printable from start to finish, other than the obvious known parts needed, as much as possible. As much as we can get off the 3D printer, I would love to see. And uh, we'll go forth from there, but uh, I'll combine those videos when I get that project uh, <laughs> finalized. Anyway, uh, let's see how far we can get on this. Well, here's we, where we sit to uh, end it tonight. I didn't get nearly as far as I had intended, but uh, just ran out of time. <laughs> Everyone knows how that can be. So uh, this is what we've got. This is the, the standings as of tonight. I've got this section pretty much complete. Got the servo mount in. This is the new style servo mount. I had to do a small modification to the arm. A um, little bit of a gap there, but that's mostly due to the uh, push out of that layer. So when I sand that off, it'll be nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, that's uh, one servo just dropped into place. No cleaning, no nothing. It just fit like a champ. I, Gail, I've got to hand it to you. This is incredible. The, the, the fit and finish is really, really good. So uh, thank you to the designer. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. This cover, I have to do a small amount of rework to it. Goes there, and then this cover on over top. Not like that, but uh, you get the idea. So I think tonight, uh, well, I'm pretty much out of time for tonight, but when I, uh, when I get some more time, I'll get the servos mounted, I think, first, and then I'll start stringing the tendons. I haven't put the pivot points in. So I think it's going to be a lot easier to thread them with uh, everything loose still. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be pretty good. That's going to be the end of it. I've got some, uh, some guides to put in for the cables or tendons. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That is the InMove hand slash arm project where we sit tonight. Thanks for watching.